I have been doing a couple of chores and whatnot with the beetle and the sorry not lifters but the adjusters appear to be hanging in and doing what they're supposed to do so I finished or well, I'm almost finished I have to put the uh, screwdriver slots in these guys but since everything seems to be working well I'm going to put uh, these four into the car and I'm going to do a trip tomorrow once I come back from the trip I'll do an initial inspection but I thought I would give you an inventory of what it took to get this thing done so for starters I had to buy a rod and then I had to have the rod turned because it comes from the foundry in too large a diameter to fit into the die and then I had to of course buy some dies because I didn't have a die I wanted to buy some cutoff wheels so these are some cheap Chinese cutoff wheels forget what I spent on them but that's money well spent I've got two of them in there right now and when they're in there I use them for fine-tuning of the length I kind of put uh, I'll sit here and I'll put one on top of my battery and that holds it kind of flat and the Dremel itself sits pretty flat so I can kind of bring everything together like this and then just kind of grind it flat until they're at the you know point that I want them to be of course you gotta be able to do some measuring you need this guy right there I didn't have a vise so this is kind of nice having it in there I took some measurements off of this to do the math here's my old ones let me see if I can show you the wear pattern see if you can see the wear pattern here there it goes so you look at those four right there and take a guess as to which one is wearing a little bit funny and uh, you'd probably be right and then there's a couple of stockers I believe that this one right here actually came out of my 74 and it is just old as the hills but it's got some pitting and whatnot at the bottom of it and then of course there is a swivel footer I want to show you something real quick I've not shown this in any of my other videos but if you take it and turn it around hang on just a second yeah I think you can see it do you see that there's actually a point on the end these things don't last forever and they'll develop a point that actually looks kind of like the tip end Let's see if I can get in there yeah I don't know it's kind of hard to see but it's got it, there's definitely a point there it looks kind of like the tip end of a Hershey's Kiss and it's got that oiling hole and of course when you push on it it wears the tip end of it goes into that oiling hole so that it doesn't wear the same as everything else and these two bits over here these are kind of like jewelry bits I forget what grit that is but this is a fine and this is a coarse and I used them to of course round these guys off so that's what makes that round I do the initial rounding with a Dremel because that thing's actually pretty slow but once you get the initial rounding done then you just pop it into there and it'll it'll polish it off and turn it into a dome pretty fast and then you can fine tune it with that but I haven't done too much with that fairly expensive to get to this point just because I don't have a whole lot of tools screwdriver slots in there and then go and pop them into the car well here we are on the other side I'm gonna go ahead and get this popped off and pull the assembly out Let's see if we can get a look at the tips of the valves here. Oh, that's not terrible. I'd say they're surviving okay. The best of the bunch is this intake right there. That's really small wear pattern. Yeah, doesn't look bad. Okay, got some dimensions. And uh, it's ready to go into the car. All right, there they are. All right, I drove it yesterday, so it should start up no problem. Let's see how it sounds. Yep, not bad. I'm pretty sure it's ready to go on the trip tomorrow so long as the valve covers aren't leaking which they don't appear to be doing oh 
All right, getting a quick fill up here. Getting the usual cheap unleaded, ethanol added. Uh, 330 a gallon today. Road construction, unbelievable, you know, come on, I was making good time getting down here. I'm ready for my hike. Check it out, it's an ornate box turtle just here on the side of the road. Do Move, do something. I think I put just a little bit too much oil in there. Got a tiny bit of oil coming out and it usually doesn't do that. Ah, good day in the park. Time to go home. Made it home, no problem. Let's stick it in the garage. Let's take a look, see how things are wearing in. Okay, none of the adjusters are loose, which is good. Focus. Yeah, this contact patches grew pretty big. I think it was worth a shot, right? Tell you what, it ran well while it was going, sounded nice and smooth. Too much wear though. Alright, so anyway, these guys are out. Got the other ones back in, torqued down all the measurements so that they're at the right spot, depth. Just got to bolt it back in, do the other side. And uh, yeah, it's too bad. And uh, boy, if that did work, what an easy way to pick up about 1%. You know, it just, it doesn't get much easier than that. Just stick a screw in place of that screw and off you go. All right, well, back to the drawing board. Okay, so real quick here, back to the drawing board means, uh, yeah, you go back and you start looking at additional types of bearing bronze. 